Hello and welcome to a stadium that has a wonderfully old-fashioned feel to it, Goodison Park. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined by Lee Dixon. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Everton up against Tottenham Hotspur. Yeah, the talking is over, the game plans are set. Now it's up to the players to go out and earn their corn. There's nothing the managers can do once the first whistle goes. I think, Derek, we're in for a cracker. No foul play, says the referee. Could go ahead! Hugo Lloris with a straightforward save. Kane. It all went to plan for Tottenham Hotspur in the last game against Arsenal. How do you expect this game to go from their point of view, Lee? Well, Derek, it was easy enough for them in their last game. A 3-0 home win. No win for me today. I'm going for a draw. Firing it in. Able to get his body in the way. That was interesting to look at the table. And what can we say about these runaways, for want of a better word? Well, they've got such a healthy lead, haven't they? You just don't see... Chance here! And he couldn't take advantage of that opportunity from close range, Lee. How close does he want to be to score? He's gone for power and fluffed his lines. Receiving news of a goal in the Brighton match, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Manchester United. Nine minutes played, 1-0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Fabian Dalf. Moving the ball effectively. Not a great challenge, free kick here. Well, straight into the meat of the penalty area. It comes to absolutely nothing. Good pressure high up the pitch. Can he put them in front? Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Struggling to keep the ball. Pabier. Understandably, a lot of interest in Harry Kane and how he might perform in this game. How do you see that, Lee? Well, I love watching him. He's got quick feet, quick mind. He wants you to come close to you so he can get past you. So as defenders normally stand off him and then he's got more time to pick the pass he wants and he normally finds the best one. Possession given away, unfortunately. And Spurs moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Doherty. Lucas Mora. And he's made headway. Takes it on. Well, it was never going to worry the keeper. Well, no wonder he's looking a little bit sheepishly at his teammates. Head in a hand sort of moment. Jean-Philippe Gabama. On the ball, Davis. And he read it well. El Ghazi under pressure doesn't seem to be but well, it's a really poor challenge now what's the referee going to do about it and there to intervene Bentancur Kane Pierre. Can he finish? And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, let's see that one again. It's all about the contact. Does everything right. He's not bothered where the goal is. He knows where it is. He gets a beautiful strike on it. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Godfrey 
It's with Mina. Tom Davis. Yeri Mina. Tottenham have not had too much of the ball, but when they've had the ball, they keep delivering the sucker punch. A great advert for low possession, counter-attacking football. It's really working. Well, they'll be happy to have regained possession. Space afforded him. Vitaly Mikorenko. And it's Tom Davis. And the goal kick will be next. Reguilon, Bentancur, definitely look as though they want to make this move count, an attack full of promise, speculative ball fired to the near post, well getting a strong fist on the ball, any sort of lead is important, they have the lead, what have you made of it so far? Well it's all going well for Tottenham, just it's tight, control of the ball is key when a game's like this. They have the players to do it for sure, but they'll be the happier of the two teams at half-time. Gabama. On the ball, Davis. Jean-Philippe Gabama. Couldn't keep it. Poibier. Reguilon, Harry Kane, and return to Kane. Hoybier, superbly read and executed. Tom Davis. Bernard with it. Vitaly Mikolenko. That's a nice looking ball. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. And so it is. They put. And the referee sounds the second half into action. Spurs with the lead here. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Richarlison. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Good tackle. Pabier. Well, this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Lee. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. Bentancourt. Getting forward. Rebier. Foiling them effectively. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. Richarlison, news of a goal in the Brighton game. Alan McAnally with details. It's the second goal for Manchester United. 56 minutes played, 2-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. And it's Tom Davis. Poibier. It's with Bergwijn. Real chance. Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one versus one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. Corner kick awarded. Punched away. Vitaly Mikolenko. 
Everton have got the lion's share of possession. However, after that, the coach will be disappointed with what they produced. They need to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal. News of a goal at the Emirates, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Arsenal. 61 minutes played, 2-1. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. This could square the game. Just cleared away in the nick of time. Reguilon. It's with Bergwijn. Well, this is certainly the home of live football, EA TV. And looking forward to bringing you more action from the Premier League. Harry Kane. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Well, here's the replay, and what a ball that is to put him through. And he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. Well, they've been poor all day, Derek, and your sense is going to be a rollicking in that dressing room after the game. It's going their way, 2-0. Jean-Philippe Gabana. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Yeri Mina. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Townsend. And Gabana. Tom Davis. It looks promising. Bernard. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. And it was blocked, that particular cross. Here it is now, a substitution. Vitali Mikolenko. And Gabama. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Calvert Lewin. Oh, an outrageous diving save by the Frenchman. Talk about agility. He's like a cat. I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Arsenal game. Alan? It's a third goal for Liverpool. 75 minutes played. 3 1. Thanks very much, as always, Alan. Excellent defending. Reguilon and Hoybier with it and a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up it's Spurs facing West Ham United yeah the fixtures come in thick and fast should be a good game that though hopefully that's not the commentator's curse well it sounds like a penalty has been awarded in one of the other matches what can you tell us Alan McAnally it's a penalty for Norwich City a slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Come on then, is it a cool finish as you go for power? Oh, he never looked confident for me. Off the post, what a chance miss. Ten minutes remain, it remains nil-nil. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Promising attack, but his timing was off. Romero. Romero. And Javier with it. Given away by Tottenham. And the emphasis is on creativity. Townsend. And after the cross, a tremendous block. And over comes the corner. Taking care of business defensively here. Bernard, maybe in Delft. And the cross is very much on. Gabama. Maybe in Delft. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Jean Philippe Gabama. Chance here. Tenacious tackling. Excellent defending there. 
Romero. Winks. Javier. And there goes the final whistle. The overall story is a happy one for Tottenham because they get the three points today. Yeah, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park for most of the game. Going forward, there was some really lovely play too. Good result that was. And the shining light for his team. No two ways about that. Harry Kane. Well, he played well, scored a goal.